Alright, so in the video game industry, there's been a lot of drama, but mostly the topic that's just right now under fire has to be the Borderland topic, which these days has been trending. And you might be wondering on Twitter, why is there a hashtag boycott Borderlands 3 thing going on? Well, let me explain to you right now. So please take a seat, be relaxed, because your boys are about to break down the news. So basically, there's this YouTuber called Submato. And Submato, well, he's a Borderlands content creator. He makes a lot of Borderlands videos. He talks about Borderlands 3, you know, what's going on. He's been doing this for seven years. Guys, that is a lot of time. I haven't, I don't think I've been in this site for seven years. But anyway, enough about me. He's been making, obviously, a lot of Borderlands content. He loves a franchise. He adores it, obviously, because if you're making content of Borderlands for seven years straight and not just change the topic, he, he has to obviously adore the game. But anyways, I was saying, he got into some controversy because, so basically, some people at 2K or Take-2 Interactive accidentally published this live stream, which was supposed to go the day later. And yeah, I mean, basically, this live stream showed some footage of what was supposed to be like a gameplay reveal or some gameplay that was gonna come in. Apparently Submato found out that those channels were public and there were some random channels there because some people found the channels and told Submato and Submato said hey why not just take this content this artwork and um just talk about it on my YouTube channel. So he did that and well 2k did not like that. Take 2 Interactive were like nope 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 you cannot do that. And they decided to literally just come up with this guy with probably one of the most scariest and creepiest things that happened. So he published a video on his YouTube channel that was saying like, and I think it was the end of thing all, just talking about it, no more lies, whatever. He basically get the point. So he was basically talking about that apparently two private investigators that were hired from 2K came to his house for discussing about his content and all that stuff, how he leaked, all that stuff that just apparently affected the company because they said that they're really like serious when it comes to security reasons. And well, the private investigators have been chatting with him for 40 minutes apparently in his home. And well, he was scared. Obviously, I mean, if private two private investigators or FBI or whatever or feds came to my house and you know just talked to me for 40 minutes. And straight just came to my door i would obviously be scared i'll be like what the heck did i just do so he was scared like any other person would be and basically explaining that they were talking about that apparently 2k and take to interactive were doing a 10 month investigation on him which is just outrageous i mean yes this man did leak some things you were talking about leaks and you're showing some maybe some thumbnails or some art that was apparently supposed to be displayed for the next day but just having some private investigator a 10 month investigation on you it's completely outrageous and just stupid it's a game it isn't like some criminal offense or whatever poor guy has to now you stop making videos for a while he's like okay i'm just gonna just reestablish mental stuff and i'm just gonna stop making videos for a while he doesn't even know if he's going to return at this point that's how terrifying this thing is he just doesn't even know he's going to return or if he's going to play borderlands 3 which this guy was super hyped about that game there's so much hype about the game and he really really enjoyed that game and he was looking forward to it for years now so yeah anyway so basically the community the borderlands community the gaming community were not happy with what 2k did take two did and they decided to do a hashtag boycott borderlands 3 and it trended on twitter just like the video, hashtag video games are not to blame thing that was trending on twitter as well so uh yeah uh there is a lot of things that were going on and take two and 2k did respond but this time i don't know i just feel like this is a weak response it basically said that when it comes to safety or security or whatever they take it really seriously and they don't want leads to their own YouTubers apparently quote unquote profiting from their artwork or whatever. Basically some nonsense at this point. I mean, yes, I get it. He did use maybe some of the pictures or art for the game displayed in his videos that I guess were not supposed to come out, but it came out. They did not like it and they decided to like just file, I think, copyright issues and all that stuff. A lot of bad things are just going down. And obviously this isn't the first time that Borderlands 3, the game, gets into some controversy because before, a few months ago, Apparently, Borderlands 3 is going to be an exclusive for Epic Games for a few months for a launch instead of just going Steam as well. And a lot of people obviously just disliked it. They were giving negative reviews, even though the game hasn't come out. But definitely, there's a lot of negative impressions throughout the game. Now, obviously, I mean, they did a deal with Epic Games, whatever, it's their thing. But I think you should just publish your game in Steam as well. I just think it's a little bit stupid. All their Borderlands games has been in Steam and they've been getting more support there instead of Epic Games. I'm pretty sure they're doing it just for the hype train of just keeping most of your royalties, which I don't blame them for, but at least publish your game as well in Steam. You know what I'm trying to say? It, it sounds like a little bit just ridiculous for them. But uh, yeah, a lot of things have been going on. Matter of the poor guy had to like disable his Twitter because he didn't want to like answer 
of questions of what was going on. He doesn't want to like just be in some controversy at this point, which I respect him for it. Cause obviously if it comes to like investigators knocking at your door, FBI open up or something like that, you know, basically telling you that they're gonna search you for 10 months. Obviously terrifying. I would stay away from social media, obviously. But apparently it got to the point that 2K got his uh, Discord um, account banned, server banned as well. And a lot of people not chat there, like Orlando's content and all that stuff. And well, a lot of chaos went to his fan base and all that stuff in a Discord. His social media was basically destroyed at this point. It was completely by 2K. Now, I feel like this is a too much. Like, 2K took this way, way too serious. You know what I'm trying to say? Like, it's just way too serious. I mean, yes, it's a little bit hard to deal when it comes to leaks and all, but just not like, hiring private investigators, bro. That's just way too wild. That's just way, way, way too far. I would not do that whatsoever. I mean, if my game got leaked, I would obviously be kind of mad. But at the same time, I would not hire private investigators to just come up you know come up and it's fbi raid them or whatever but uh, yeah apparently sent me some copyright issues i was saying one of the parts i think because i was reading an article apparently it says that you know, 2k sub matter was profiting from their uh, um artwork without asking for permission yes a lot of things are going on for the poor guy yeah that's basically it for the borderlands the controversy that's been going on sub matter the poor guy is just going to some mental things right now he has to like just take a long break from youtube he's probably not even gonna play borderlands anymore because of this outrageous thing that has been going on i feel bad for him i feel his pain like he's been a long fan of the borderlands franchise for obviously quite a while but uh yeah anyway thank you guys so much for watching this video be sure to like button down below also remember to subscribe turn the notification bell and yes thank you for watching